Hey guys, how are you? Brixen Stadja here. Today uh, we're gonna go through a quick tutorial where I'm gonna show you how I manage to run my 12 volt motors on 9 volt truck. Uh, the system is extremely simple uh, but very solid at the same time. Uh, you already saw the trains running at the beginning of the video as a demonstration. I'm gonna be uh, splitting this video in two parts. The very first one is where I'm gonna give you a brief overview of the concept that is behind uh, uh, the system that I put together and the options that it allows you to have. And then there will be a second part where I'm gonna go a bit more in detail um, giving you um, a list of the parts that I use to put the whole thing together and uh, I will give you a few tips uh, that will be very useful for you in order to uh, be able to put the system together very quickly and uh, with very little effort okay so let's uh, get right into it okay so the principle is one here i have two different um, configurations this one here is the one that i will use in case i want to attach big wagons like this one while this one is a configuration that i would use uh, when I want to use smaller wagons like the 16 by 6 uh, wagons. Uh, with regards to the motors, the modifications that have to be made are very simple and um, things will work uh, um, whether you're going to be using the motor for uh, uh, locomotives like this big or uh, for smaller ones. Uh, like this uh, shunter. Um, I will go a bit more in details over this uh, in a minute. And the way things work um, is the following. You get your uh, non uh, um, Lego metal wheels, you put them into this specific uh, Lego brick and then you take some copper wire. You just roll the copper wire into the axis of uh, uh, the wheels you do this for both sides then you take a couple of jumper wires you connect the jumper wires to the copper wire now you take the whole thing you connect it to these pins and connectors and at the point where you have here is a whole working pickup that once it's running on some electrified like rails will transport the electricity to this point at this point what you do is uh, attach the lego uh, motor and the electricity will be transported by this wire to the motor and the motor will run now this is the principle extremely easy let me go um, through the to the through the list of the parts that you need in order to put the whole thing together and then just give you a couple of considerations okay guys what i used uh, um, are very common and cheap parts so what you need are electrical tape any color will do even if black is preferred 
a few jumper wires these are called jumper wires you're gonna find them on eBay for very cheap price then you have uh, these uh, Lego piece part number 7049B and um, for set of pickups you're gonna need two of them okay then you're gonna need some uh, cable anything that you have lying around in your house that allows you to get copper wire uh, strings of copper wire out of it now this is uh, for example and this is what I used is a telephone extension cable I have this one lying around I just got a few pieces out of this and I managed to put the whole thing together but anything that you have lying around will do then we have these um, um, these parts here this, that are called DuPont pins and connectors they are very popular you are just gonna find them on eBay at least if you just Google DuPont pins these are female pins and you're gonna need the female ones these are the connectors um, there's tons of different shapes and sizes for this just look around I'm gonna show you very briefly what I used okay then you're gonna need uh, just a random random tool that you have home I just had this around and it worked enough and then last but not least is going to be these no met sorry metal non Lego wheels now um, these wheels are um, I bought these from China from a seller that um, sold uh, the shipped to the UK however if you google what uh, you should be seeing now on screen you you will notice that uh, there's going to be many sellers from different parts around the world that are going to sell these wheels um, for a fairly cheap price I would say I used I got um, I got these wheels for 10 pounds in total 10 British pounds it was six pounds for the wheels themselves and uh, four pounds postage and in the lot there were four sets of wheels so one two three and four and this is going to allow me to run two uh, 12 volt motors already the great thing about these wheels is not just that they are metal is also that they are pretty much the same size uh, of uh, leg wheels they are just the diameter is just one millimeter wider and uh, sorry longer and um, they are a little bit larger and the shape is a little bit different but uh, things work out enough in order for be for these ones to be the wheels you want to get okay so let's get uh, into a close up of uh, how to get things done okay so what you do is this you take the wheels that you bow you cut them in half at this point what you do is you take a little bit of electrical tape and you just roll it around the axle just in order to create enough friction when uh, you will be inserting the wheels in the Lego brick now why is it so important that you use uh, this Lego brick? Because do you see these red cylinders that are inside it? Well, these are the ones that will allow you to have the wheels spinning with absolutely no friction, making the whole system extremely efficient. So this is why you really want to make sure you buy these uh, um, bricks that are extremely cheap and common. Now, once you're done with that, you take your copper wire, and with regards to the copper wire, I just uh, literally you take a stripe long enough, a copper wire from uh, whatever you have lying around. Then, with some scissors, what you do is you start removing the plastic cover like that, and you start doing it for the whole wire 
until you have removed everything and you remain just with the copper wire itself just like this now when you have this done you start rolling the whole thing over each axle this one first and then you go all the way to the other one until you get this uh, result and one thing that I really suggest that you do is that you keep the whole thing pretty loose instead of uh, um, rolling the whole thing very tight because what happens is that I noticed is that if you keep everything pretty loose there will be wire that will tend to rest also to the inner part of the wheel and not just on the axle on the axle and with this actually will allow um, contact between the two parts to be constant so there will always be electricity being picked up by the wheels and uh, the wires okay now when you are done with that what you do is you just take one of, one of these jumper wires and you just hook the stripe that you have here you just really hook it up and close the whole thing like I've done here so everything remains stuck and connected in place at the point I just added a 1x2 brick that you as you can see is allowing me to fill up a bit space and uh, keep everything nice in place and what I've done at this point was to cut just one of these uh, jumping pins like this and just cut one side just do the same thing that I did with uh, the copper wire and at the point I just used uh, these uh, pin that I showed you previously I just put it in close everything up then add this part and uh, do this for both sides until I was uh, putting this whole connector together okay now this is pretty much ready to go at this point you take the motor you add a couple of jumper wires to these sides that as you can see have been just plugged in and pushed inside without any glue or anything else I just used a bit of electrical tape to keep everything nice in place and then at this point I have these two pins that are ready to connect with the pickups okay that are over here okay so this is the first type of configuration with regards to the second one here I have the wagon the principle is exactly the same it's just that I locked in place all the wiring in between all these uh, Lego bricks uh, just to keep everything nice and tidy but the principle is the same you can see the copper wire over here and here you can see the couple of jumpers that will be attached to the connector with regards to a locomotive of this type the only thing you have to do is really just uh, modify a little bit this section using different bricks in order to create enough space in order to attach a couple of uh, pins with a couple of jumper wires attached to it that can form the second connector I got these pins but it's not necessary to use those I got these pins from this type of Lego wire I just had some uh, lying around uh, doing nothing so I got them for me but you can find uh, easily other solutions that don't involve using Lego cables in case you don't have any okay okay so pretty much this is everything that had to be said about the system themselves uh, however still before I leave you I would like to say a couple of uh, things with regards to the truck switches now the system runs very well on 
straights and curves but if you start running the trains on uh, layouts with track switches you're going to have problems of derailment uh, this is due to the fact that the wheels are not like wheels or they're not really compatible with uh, um, these type of trucks now what mainly happens is that the wheels uh, get stuck this, um, over here on this spot where you see this hole they tend to uh, remain stuck into this gap and there is uh, um, they tend to uh, struggle to engage properly with this little spot here where the curve starts so the derailment tends to happen when uh, when you try to get the train to take uh, the curve of uh, the truck switch <coughs> another thing that happens is that uh, these 12 volt pickups are a bit low so what happens is that when uh, the motor runs over here uh, they tend to touch these uh, they tend to touch this section here so there is the risk that the motor remains uh, stuck so in order to resolve all the problem or all these problems um, with regard to the pickups you can simply just put some tape on the pickups themselves making sure that they remain pushed up at all times uh, uh, this way the problem is uh, um, the problem with regards to the pickups is resolved with regards uh, to the rest uh, what um, is good to do is uh, to put a little bit of uh, tape over here to hide uh, uh, to cover the little hole that is here so that uh, the wheels won't remain stuck anymore on this side and with regards to <coughs> this section these the problems that there are um, over here and on this point um, what works very well is uh, um, to make sure that the wheel the wheels are pushed in the Lego brick all the way leaving just very little space at this point the um, distance between the wheels will be small enough in order for uh, um, in order for uh, the wheel to engage properly this little plastic piece once uh, the train is running over it and another thing that I did in order to avoid the wheel remaining stuck into this point is to was to uh, scrub a little bit with this tool over here the wheels on this side in order to reduce their width it didn't take me a long time it took me about 15 minutes to get all four wheels down I just scrubbed very hard all over this section in order just to reduce the width and I noticed that uh, these uh, resolved uh, every, um, every problem quite well now when I run the trains uh, on layouts also with uh, truck switches present, uh, present I have no issues at all so that's something that needs to be addressed in case you want to use these parts okay so guys I think pretty much uh, that's it um, for this video uh, I hope that's going to be helpful for many of you out there and is going to make you save uh, a lot of money uh, so please don't uh, don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and um, so you can remain updated for more videos over the next few weeks okay so thank you very much bye bye